In this video, we cover the process of getting started with the Boring Toolbox upon the first login. We will cover the configuration of parent sites and how to connect to Milestone with the Boring Toolbox. So upon first login, uh, I already have this activated, but when we first launch Boring Toolbox, you will be greeted with a uh, activation screen. Just go ahead and click activate, type in your, your entitlement from your email and you'll be good to go. Um, currently the license does reside on the Boring Toolbox uh, client. Uh, so you will have to act activate each and every one of those uh, clients. We are working hard to figure out a, a, a way to get the license pushed back into the server so that we don't have to do this for every single client. But um, as of today, that's what we've got. So just to let you know, we do have our version down here. And if you ever have to update your license, you can do that down here with the about. Um, ooh, I went too fast there, but you'll notice it says Windows authentication, current user. You'll notice I didn't have to create a new user. Uh, we do use integrated authentication with Milestone. So any basic user or Windows user that's, or uh, yeah, basic or Windows user that um, are part of the Milestone management server, we do support them uh, natively as long as they have uh, the appropriate access rights uh, to the management server. Okay, so you'll note that when we logged in, this is us logging in. This is our local dashboard. Uh, you'll note that you we didn't have to do anything to start getting insights and start understanding visibility, uh, gaining visibility into our milestone VMS. I won't, I'll talk about this here in a second, but I do wanna say that the first thing you wanna do when you log into Boring Toolbox is jump over to Manage Sites. So in managed sites is where we'll configure our parent site and our managed site. Once we configure our parent site, and if you have one, the managed site, then this is when we'll turn on those background services. This is where we push out the licenses to them and we get that value from the 24 by seven monitoring and also email and all those other cool things that we have from reporting to maintenance mode, et cetera. So uh, this is our uh, M, uh, train 101, uh, which is our, are going to be our parent site here. You're going to put in your license count. Uh, if you do have multiple management servers, you want to just apply the number of licenses that you have for that particular management server. So in this case, let's say I only have 50 licenses or 50 cameras on this management server. I'll apply 50 out of my pool to this particular management server. All right, here's where we're going to connect to the actual uh, milestone itself. So this is where our boring background services will connect into Milestone. You have the ability to use uh, Windows authentication, which we're gonna use today, uh, a basic user uh, in Milestone, or you even have the ability to choose boring service account. Now, uh, caveat to this, um, and I'll, I'll jump down to here. Essentially what this means that we will uh, use this user that's running your services uh, to connect into Milestone. Uh, therefore, you don't need to type in a username and password here. Uh, the caveat that I mentioned was that if you're using local service or network service, uh, it's not necessarily recommended. So uh, for example, here we're using a, uh, an actual user credential, then that would be fine to go ahead and use boring service account. But if we were using network service there, we don't recommend that. In this case, I'll go ahead and just type in my milestone user. And again, this is where boring services are going to connect into milestone. So you do want to use an admin user here so that we're not restricted by rights. Um, this is, these are the email addresses which will receive our live monitoring notifications for this site. So um, for this parent site, train 101, uh, Homer J is going to receive our live monitoring notifications. Uh, you can add as many people as you'd like in here. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, contact us at support at theboringlab.com. In our next video, we will cover helpful information to understand and start using the Boring Toolboxes local dashboard. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more tips and tools for getting the most out of your Milestone X Protect VMS using the Boring Toolbox, hit subscribe.